Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is on how to stay positive and it is a video that I desperately need right now because I've not been the most positive or happy or calm person that I can be in the past couple of days or week and although I've done a pretty good job at, at containing it inside here and it's not showing externally, it's still like mental turmoil, tornado, tsunamis going on here like it's not the best feeling this video is also inspired by a few of your questions on my EMAs a couple weeks ago that I did on Instagram stories and the first one is how do you have a positive and grateful mindset even at your lowest? the first thing is to celebrate the small wins and what that looks like for me is celebrating the fact that I'm alive that I woke up this morning, that I'm breathing that there's a roof over my head and there's food in my stomach and that I get to talk to a camera and upload it onto the computer and have access to this thing called the internet or Wi-Fi and then being able to post it on this thing called YouTube and then you guys can watch this video on this illuminated screen whether it's your phone or your laptop and it's like just saying that out loud and reminding myself of all the things that I already have versus all the things that I want or all the things that I feel that I need it's already so reassuring and so grounding and humbling that there's so much beauty around us at all times. It's just when we're so fixated and stuck in our own heads, we forget that there's beauty and there's love and there's happiness and joy all around us because we, I think we really like separate ourselves from that when we're so caught up in here. The second thing is to remember that it's all temporary. Life itself, feelings, positive feelings, negative feelings. It's impossible to feel one way all the time. It's impossible to be positive all the time. It's impossible to be productive all the time. It's impossible to be happy all the time. And I think it's that unrealistic expectation we set for ourselves that like I need to be this all the time like I need to strive to be like x y and z all the time the discrepancy between what we want versus who we are as humans and the fact that it's not possible that discrepancy is what causes a lot of uneasiness and stress in our lives and to know that life comes in seasons and life comes in cycles and that you need to feel not good sometimes for you to break out of it eventually it's kind of like in computer games you need to struggle for a bit before you can level up but struggling and pain and uncomfortableness and being uncomfortable is usually always good signs that you're about to break through and something awesome is about to happen so the third thing is to focus on what's most important if you're able to take a step back and take yourself out of your head and just remind yourself of what's most important to you so for me it's you know my family parents are okay they're doing great you know my health i'm alive i'm breathing that's awesome i'm trying to be the best student of my spiritual practice as i can even though i've been kind of slacking recently and not doing as best as i could be i'm not meditating as much i'm not reading as much i'm still trying and that trying and that effort although it could be better it's good enough and just taking a step back and reminding yourself of these things just me singing out loud just now has helped me so much to be like, okay, those are what's important to you. So everything else that you're stressing about, that you're worrying about, this video that you just spent the past like two hours trying to make and you've been struggling trying to make, like it's all, it's okay. Like it's all gonna be fine because you already have what's most important to you. And as long as you're trying and doing your best, that's so okay. The next point is change what you can and let go of what you can. So if you're stressed, if you're not feeling the best, why aren't you feeling the best? Is it because of school? Is it because of work? Is it because of some relationship? Is it because of whatever it is? What can I do about it? Can I call my friend? Can I study a little more? Can I spend an extra hour today just unplugging and taking better care of myself? Can I call my mom? If there's actionable steps that you can take, take it. By all means, like do that. Be proactive and do that thing. But if whatever it is that's stressing you out, it's something out of your control, it's something that you can't do anything about, then let it go. I know it's so much easier said than done, but the more you try to exercise, the more you try to practice this, it will get a lot easier over time. The next thing is to take five minutes out of your day to just do that thing you know will help you feel better. For me, it's journaling and meditating. Meditating is something that I just, I've been slacking so much, which totally shows by how not chill and calm I've been feeling, as well as journaling. I have not been keeping up with my five minute journal because I've, I'm busy and I'm traveling and I don't have time but like those are all excuses I can it's like what Tony Robbins said if you don't have five or ten minutes in the mornings to yourself then like you don't have a life like if you can't 
carve out five minutes of your day and i'm saying this to myself like if you can't even do something that you know will help you for five minutes then like why are you even doing anything so spend five minutes right now pause the video to go do the thing that you know will help you or you can do that after you finish this video so the last thing and i think this is something that i need to hear myself a lot is that despite the voices in your head despite whoever you've convinced yourself you are despite you know everything going on in here just pause give yourself a pat on the back and just tell yourself you're doing great you've been doing great and you will continue to do great and it's okay for you to feel not okay every once in a while it's okay for you to not be the most positive all the time because it's human and at the end of the day we really are our biggest critics we really are we're so hard on ourselves like all the things we want to do all the things that we feel we can do better on all the things that we i don't know there's just so many things that we want as humans that it's what makes us so unhappy all the time so i think at the end of the day it's really accepting yourself loving yourself taking better care of yourself and trying to let go of attachments to different things that are pulling you in different directions this is a concept in buddhism which is whatever it is that you're attached to will drag you down in some way shape or form the second question is what is your best tip for staying positive this quote by steve jobs is one of my favorite quotes remembering that i'll be dead soon is the most important tool i've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life almost everything all external expectations all pride all fear of embarrassment or failure these things just fall away in the face of death leaving only what is truly important remembering that you're going to die is the best way i know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose you are already naked there's no reason not to follow your heart meditating on death may be kind of like a morbid thing to say but i really do think that when we really understand the fact that our time here is finite and that life is fragile and that anything can happen at any moment why not seize the day and why not focus all your energy and attention on what is most important to you and being positive if it's all going to end eventually and i think with that i don't know this video i say yeah, that was really hard for me to make i don't know if it's like the mental state that i'm currently in or just the fact that i haven't been meditating and sleeping properly and just all over the place overworking myself whatever it is i hope this video was helpful um yeah i don't know i love you guys thank you guys for being here i really appreciate every, every single one of you guys for tuning in every week to just listen to my ramblings because you know you guys doing this is very encouraging and inspiring for me to keep doing what i'm doing my camera's about to die i love you and i'll see you guys in the next week's video bye <laughs> i'm like ah. my mental state is like my voice